I don't get why people are being assholes about the usage of the word they. Clearly, you didn't pay attention in your English classes. Because, you know, back when we used LBGT, right? Which was the first set of letters before we started adding the Q and the plus and everything else, right? Before we even used that, we actually used they. Now, see, here's the thing. Y'all didn't pay attention in your English classes. You know how I know? Because your reading comprehension skills suck. When you reply to people and you argue with them on the internet, the things that you say clearly show you don't have good reading comprehension. Because half the time y'all be arguing with people and what they said agrees with what the fuck you said. And then there's another thing that the majority of y'all clearly don't understand and it's called implied statements. Now, for those of you who don't understand, what that means is that when you say something, right? In order for that thing to be true, or in order for that thing to exist, something else must first exist and also be true. So you can't argue with somebody and say, I didn't say that because you indirectly said it because what you said is impossible to exist without this thing over here first existing. And people will make a point about how that thing can't possibly exist. And because that thing can't possibly exist, then it's impossible for your statement to be true. And you will argue with them saying you've never said nothing about that, claiming that your statement is supposed to be true, but it, it can't exist. It's like if you're saying I have a house here and they're saying, well, it's impossible for you to have a house there because a foundation can't exist there. And you're saying I didn't say nothing about the foundation. Well, how the fuck the house going to exist without the fucking foundation? Think, Mark, think. Dumbass motherfuckers. Now, they. You could tell the difference between singular and plural when somebody used they because of something called context clues, right? And because of your lack of reading comprehension, that is because you don't understand the concept of context clues. OK, context clues was how you could tell the difference. You used they when you didn't know their gender. And yes, it was interchangeably between he and they because he, man, male pronouns were actually used to talk about everybody. And it wasn't gender specific, but a lot of women got upset and then we started using she, but it actually wasn't a gender specific thing. It wasn't to show male superiority or whatever. It's because male pronouns were actually associated with everybody. 